Like the world itself, things are always changing in the lives of humans. Perspective and attraction have changed dramatically throughout the years, leaving a trail of his past in the art we see today, especially in fashion photography. Fashion photography has been around since the beginning of the 1900s and has been under continuous innovation since. It can be recognized as a genre of photography that expresses the glamorous lifestyle that can be depicted through the use of clothes and accessories. As a result of the change in times, there has also been a change in the idea of a desirable woman. Music, television, magazines, and other means of advertisement that partner with the fashion photography world have always demanded models to have a canvas of a perfect woman. Um, when I was younger, in middle school and from New York, I went to an after school program and I was in it, but I kind of fell off from it and I was just doing runway kind of. And then I just woke up one day and was like, I want to get back into it. So I've been five months in again. I've done six sh um, fashion shows, a few photo shoots. I was in New York Fashion Week, which is really good because I'm only five months in. A lot of people don't have that chance. I'm considered a plus size model. Um, after the size four, you're considered a plus size model. So um, that's kind of difficult too because I'm like in between. So it all depends on what an agency is looking for or what a designer is looking for at that given moment. It's to either want something really, really small or bigger than me. Since the emergence of social media, people have become more particular about the way others perceive them. Many believe the ability for others to react to pictures users post made available to the user via the application programmers can be received in many different ways. The desire for more likes has swept the minds of the social media user. Social media has created a desire to be liked by all, and it is affecting the way people view themselves as individuals. Which is why some people avoid fashion on social media altogether. Personally, on my social media accounts, or the sites that I use, such as like Reddit, Facebook, and Instagram, I don't really see much of fashion, or if I do, I avoid it, because what I see a lot of it is a huge flexing game and people will do that stuff just for the likes so people can look at them and say hey look at him he dresses nice all the time or he always look got the nicest stuff or the newest stuff I feel like they buy it to fit in with the fashion of the time and the reason why I say that is like when it's like a new type of year or like whenever they release a new shoe especially after everybody gets their refund everybody makes sure to get those shoes for some models social media is a tool that is used to their advantage these free applications help promote the hard work of any aspiring model who just hopes to be seen you really need to be on social media because when you work with a, a photographer you're going to get posted on their page and when you get posted on their page you have other models and designers who's also following them you have to put yourself out there to get known you can't just sit and wait around for the opportunity to come to you because that's not how that world works the fashion world does not work like that with pressures from the social media world and the fashion photography world it can be hard for models to keep a high self-esteem self-esteem can be described as confidence in one's own worth or abilities which is imperative to have while working in fashion photography. I feel as though self-esteem is very important in the modeling business, just because of the fact of how the modeling business is. Modeling, the modeling business itself is very blunt, very harsh. The modeling agencies or the modeling agents can say some pretty harsh things to hurt someone's self-esteem. And I feel as though if you don't have a high self-esteem going into the business, then the things that these people will say will definitely hurt you and they definitely will affect you mentally, emotionally, maybe even physically. To make it into the fashion photography industry, models must become comfortable with who they are as individuals first. With the high expectations that the industry brings, models must make sure they are prepared to handle critique. Um, well, mentally, you have to just always keep in mind that you're not gonna get every gig you're not gonna get every shoot sometimes they're gonna want you sometimes they're not gonna want you but you can't let that judge you as your character you can't make it seem like oh they don't want me because i'm me don't let what people think of you affect you or stop you or hinder you from what you want to believe in like just do what you want to do because you want to do it if you say you want to do it then do it that's what i did I lost over 100 pounds because I said I wanted to lose weight and I did it. Although there are roadblocks on the way to the top of the fashion world, a positive attitude and a new focus could be the difference between making it and missing out. 
you becoming confident, you look at yourself in the mirror and you realize who you are as a person. Meditate, meditating is key. That's how I even started with this dream by meditating and realizing what journey I wanna get on. When the external flash is turned off, the only perspective that should matter is yours because you are the canvas you create.